Hey guys, in the previous video lecture, when we were creating post, the slug was not automatically be saved in the database with the other fields. And uh, if we open the post list view that has been opened now, we were getting error. We were getting error. No reverse match at post detail. Reverse match for post detail with argument with the index value of 18. So while rendering the tablet, first we need to delete that post so that our post list view is working fine. Open the admin panel and just delete that post that we have created, which is my new post too. Just delete that from here. And if we look, have a look at the post list view on the index page again, we'll now have the post list view page working fine. So in this tutorial, we'll make use of Django built-in signals and Slugify module to create slug and store before the form data or result is saved to the database. In case of a post request, when we submit the form, the server receives data from the user. There may be a case where we need or want to modify this data to suit our requirements before committing or storing it into the database. <clears throat> As in our case, we need to create a slug and store before committing in the DB. In this case, we use Django signals. If we, yes, we use Django signals. If we have a look at the Django documentation itself, just write Django signals and go to the Django documentation for signals it explains that Django includes a signal dispatcher which helps allow decoupled applications get notified when action occurs elsewhere in the framework in a nutshell signals allow certain senders which our in our case the post model is the sender to notify a set of receivers that will create in a moment that some action has taken place Django provides a set of built-in signals that let user code get notified by Django itself of certain actions these include some useful notifications like pre-save slug, pre-save and the post save that says sent before or after models save method is called and then we have the pre-delete and post-delete which means sent before or after models delete method or for says delete method is called then we have many to many change then we have the request started and the request finished that sent when Django starts or finishes an HTTP request and we will use pre-save signal here to create our slug so first we need to define a receiver function a receiver can be any python function or method like the example shown here so open up the models.py file and import the pre-save signal first from django.db.models.signals import pre save and let's define a function here which is you name it pre underscore save underscore slug you can name it anything according to your need and uh, pass two arguments which is the sender and the star star kw args we'll print kw args to see what parameters or objects are coming while creating the post all signal handlers must have these two arguments and all signals send a keyword arguments used here so we need to now connect to this receiver function for this we will use receiver decorator so first we import the receiver function from here from django.dispatch import receiver and we'll use it as a uh, decorator for the pre-save slug definition or the function by writing at the rate receiver itself which takes the two arguments which is the signal itself which is the pre-save signal and the sender of the post which is in our case the sender is host so if we create a new post go back to the browser and write block post create and we create a new post my new post 3 and we get this is another post let me make it published and if we create it we'll see in the terminal that dictionary object of keyword arguments which our signal has sent this is the keyword arguments 
that we used to print in the pre-saves log before saving the data into the database or the post data into the database so these are the fields like update fields using default an instance has post my new post field that we have created if you can see there is an instance field available which has the post object we can make use of this post object to get the post model fields like title slug and which are available and create a slug from that so we will make use of slugify module to create slugs before that we need to import the slugify modules like from django.utils which is under the utils.txt import slugify all in small and we don't need the keyword arguments right now just remove that and we'll assign the slug like this from the keyword arguments itself and we use slugify here and we we'll use keyword args fetch the instance parameter and in the instance parameter we have the post object where it is the my new post 3 and we'll get the title from here through which we will create a slug it will create slug like this my new post 3 this kind of slug will, uh, will be created by this slugify method so after that we need to use this assign this slugs to this keyword args instance so that it can be available or be saved in the database dot slug is equals to slug we have assigned this slug variable into this keyword argument slug so as id is unique for every post we create and we use both id and slug to make the url for every post unique already so we don't need to make slug unique here as well if we go to the browser open up the localhost again we can see how before we have created the my new post 3 uh, that's why the, it is showing error that was not saved yet as now we have we did that so open up the admin panel and delete that again and then we will create another post which should save into the database with this slug itself so write log post create and create a new post which is new post one this time it should be saved saved in to the in db make it published just create and if you open the localhost 8000 the post list you should not give any error and it is giving the my new post one here new post one at the very end of the page here see the post created by Abhishek this time it should not be saved in the db if we look in the db itself by writing my skill hyphen u root hyphen p root use my site select star from block post we can now be able to see our new post one is uh, has the slug itself and uh, it is saved before the pre-save slug is called before the uh, data or the result saved into the database so this is it guys in the next video lecture we will create a login view for for login logging in the user so